Is it live? Is it Memorex? We never know with this Facebook creator, live video, whatever thing they got here. I think I've been using this for over a year and still the thing malfunctions every time. But I think we are live. Let's go forward. Welcome to Direct Mail Monday, April 25th, 2022. Steve Cypress here on the day that I dip into my personal or my business mailbox and I share some advertising, marketing, and sales tips based on actual mail I have received recently, sometimes not so recently. Uh, I add the ones that are interesting to the pile and say, yeah, that's a good one. Sometimes another good one comes in, and I say, let's do that one. And they, the good ones drop deeper and deeper on the pile. Uh, this one looks like I got it uh, about two, three weeks ago, maybe, so fairly recent. But... It does have my favorite all-time ridiculous but effective headline. But let's get to the main lesson right here is this excellent example of an irresistible offer. Uh, in my experience working with thousands and thousands and thousands of business owners and entrepreneurs over the years uh, on their advertising and marketing and sales efforts, the number one factor and how successful you're gonna be with your advertising, marketing, and sales is how irresistible your offer is. You've heard me say it a million times, an irresistible offer when placed in front of the right who, the right prospect, almost doesn't matter anything else you do. And yet an offer that is crappy, almost doesn't matter that you put it in front of fantastic prospects and you have fantastic copywriting and ooh, a beautiful logo and a great website and all this nonsense I hear as if anybody ever bought because of a logo or a website and not once. I made a lot of sales in my life. Uh, millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of sales through my advertising, marketing and sales efforts. And I've never once, not once, still waiting for somebody to say, you know why I'm buying? Because of your logo. And on the same uh, hand, I have never once had somebody say, you know why I'm not buying? Because I don't like your logo or because you don't have a logo or any of that. So come on with the logo and the website nonsense. Let's get to things that really matter, like an irresistible offer. That matters. That'll actually move the needle and make you a ton of money. And here's a great example. Check it out. It's on the back of the postcard below the address label. By the way, one thing they did good uh, well on the address label there, it's addressed to my beautiful wife, Michelle, who is a star, what's it called? Star Rewards member of Macy's, that's their logo, the red star. And uh, and yet, they put on here, or current resident, which I almost crossed out along with the privacy cross out of our home address. They almost, uh, they said, or current resident. Now, I'm, I guess, and I'm sure it's tested and it makes sense, so I suggest you do it too, that even when you're mailing something out to your members, just in case they moved or passed away or you know, there was divorce or whatever happened, the person's no longer living there. Uh, the current resident might believe this isn't doesn't apply to me. I'm not a member of whatever this is. It says on the front here, they get an extra discount for that star rewards member, an extra bonus or an extra, extra rewards faster. So the recipient might think, oh, it's not addressed to me. This doesn't apply to me. I can't take advantage of this irresistible offer. So they, they clear that up just by putting or current resident. Very smart. Doesn't cost you any more. To, uh, to print on a few more words uh, when you're mailing out a postcard or sending an email or posting on social media or putting an ad anywhere you want or whatever you're doing, all these tips here apply to everything, not just direct mail, even though that's what I'm using to make the point. But here's the example of the irresistible offers. It's not an irresistible offer, a free, the most powerful word in all of advertising and marketing, free, with any $39.50 purchase, you get a free seven-piece gift up to $155 value. Come on now. Of course, I don't know anything about, and there's, I guess, a picture of one, two, three, four, five. There's seven pieces there, the bag and six makeup things. Uh, I don't know anything about, I mean, I guess, what are they, 20 bucks a piece? Therefore, $155 in value. They're worth about 22 bucks a piece. And all you have to do is spend 40 and you get an extra $155 bonus. So the total value is $194.50. You get that for only $39.50. I mean, that's that's a great offer, right? So, you know, 
I've seen all the crappy ones, 20% off, 10% off, 5% off, buy one, get one free. That's, that's getting pretty good. In fact, it's smart using the word free in there. But how about you spend 40 and you get almost $200 worth of stuff. And it also passes the smart, effective, intelligent test of being relevant, right? So if you buy something from Estee Lauder worth 40 bucks, you get more stuff from Estee Lauder worth 155 bucks. So excellent example of an irresistible offer. If you want help creating your own irresistible offer that will change your life in business more than anything else will, go to helpfromsteve.com. I can only stay on the phone briefly with you, but I guarantee I will give you something that will help you out even on that brief phone call. Uh, and then bonus, uh, I look for it and there it is, of course, they're always using this one. So it's my guess. It's my educated guess that this must be effective. It must be working because they've been using it. I've seen it for at least 10 years or more. And Macy's been around a long, long time. They may have been using it even longer. Their headline, one day sale. One day sale. My favorite, ridiculous, but I'm guessing effective because they keep using it. Headline, whenever they have a sale, that pretty much goes for the whole weekend. They even tell you right there. This one runs from Friday the 11th till Sunday the 13th. That one day, that one day of Friday, Saturday, Monday, it's a Friday, Saturday, Monday. What, which one day is it? I don't know. So is it inaccurate? Yes. Is it incorrect? Yes. Is it wrong? Is it false? Yes. Is it effective? I'm guessing also yes. They scream one day sale to get that urgency and that scarcity. And people think, oh, I got to run in. But of course, then people look and go, which one day is it? Oh, it's Friday, it's Saturday, and it's Sunday. Usually I see them for two days. This is a three day, one day sale. So come on. It's even just fun and absurd to even think about and to say it's a three day, one day sale. So do they correct it and put three-day sale, weekend sale, um, two-day sale, big sale, massive sale, once-in-a-year sale, or uh, tie it to, uh, to, to the holiday du jour, the latest holiday close that car dealers do and mattress salespeople and inept marketers tie everything to holidays that's not a sale, and they just call it a sale, and they keep the same prices all year long. So right now is what, the end of April? So it's like a May Day sale, May Day sale, spring sale, 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 uh, you know, May flowers, uh, April showers, May flower sale, memorial, pre Memorial Day sale. Oh, and then it'll be summertime sale and Flag Day sale and July 4th sale, and post July 4th sale. And they could do all that stuff, but no, they stay with the steady, I'm guessing proven and tested, screaming in big, bold, red. One day sale, even though it's over three days. So what's the lesson there? You've heard me say it all the time is you're not advertising and marketing and doing sales so that your third grade English teacher will give you a good grade. Grammar doesn't matter. Punctuation doesn't matter. Accuracy doesn't even matter. Clearly, it's over three days and they call it the one day sale because it works. That's why you test. That's why you do things in advertising, marketing, and sales. That's why, hopefully, you have someone on your team, someone in your pocket, someone you can call, someone you can talk to, to bounce ideas off who is an expert in advertising, marketing, and sales. Like I said, if you want a one-time call with me, you can get that by going to helpfromsteve.com. Otherwise, take the lesson from this great irresistible offer, this hilarious but effective headline, and that'll do it. Direct Mail Monday, April 25th, 2022, our last Direct Mail Monday broadcast of the month. Be back next Monday with another one, but before then, I'll be back again tomorrow on Topical Tuesday, where I take something going on in the news and teach a business lesson from it. Hope to see you there. Thanks for being here today. Over and out.